Today is really a remarkable day because we're launching something new and it's something I wouldn't have imagined by myself in a million years. I met with a family uh, over lunch and they had been partners with us in our capital campaign for this facility. And uh, they told me, they said, um, we actually would like to keep giving that money. Do you have any ideas of where it could go? And just so you know, I always have ideas. Of <laughs> I've got a list. And, uh, but I asked the question to them first. I said, oh, I, I always have ideas, but I'm interested. Is there anything that really resonates with your heart? And what happened over the next half hour at a lunch table? Um, was so powerful and meaningful to me. Uh, they said, we, we'd like to uh, continue just like we, with the, the building program. We'd like to keep giving that amount of money. But we know from our own experience in life and from some other couples, just how hard the adoption process is. And mostly because there's such financial challenges. If you don't know, an average adoption now costs somewhere between twenty and thirty thousand dollars. So it's not so much about whether a family can afford to have a kid in their home. It's just the upfront cost. And by the way, I'm not one of the people to rain on the parade about those upfront costs. You want to make sure things are done legally and appropriately, and 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 children who are at their most vulnerable position in life get placed in really good homes. So I understand the cost. That's, that's not the point. And, and at the risk of being misunderstood, there's so much anger and vitriol about issues like life and abortion right now. And, and they said, wouldn't it be great if we could use money to help get children who are waiting into godly homes? And I said, that's the best idea. I've heard all day, that's the best idea. I've heard all week, that's the best idea. I've heard all year, it might be the best idea I've heard in my life. And so we're starting today, Calvary Adoption Ministry. And yes. We're not trying to take the place of other organizations that do a great job and work really hard. Our, our role in this is, is going to continue to allow them to do their job well, but we want to help uh, families who are looking for some assistance and some of that upfront cost, and this will be grants, not loans. If you need some help with the legal fees, we want to be able to write a check and help out. And so if you're interested in ever contributing towards that, uh, my wife and I, when we heard about this, we made a very serious commitment to this fund because I know what it's like to look into the eyes of a child who thinks they've got no place to live and nowhere to go and no one who loves them. And I want to at least show some of the children in our region that there is a God who loves them very much. Just read if you want to be interested in, in finding out how God thinks about the orphans. That's a search worth doing. His heart is attracted to them. His heart is broken for them. And he works to place them in families. And I think this is part of how he is working. So if you're interested and you want to help, you can give a gift and just mark it for adoption. We'll know what that is. If you go on our website, you can go to our giving option. And one of the options for giving, in addition to all the other ways we things you can give towards, is the adoption ministry. Because our goal is to help place waiting children into the homes of loving and godly parents. How many think that's a really good thing? Yeah.